Trick or treat! I already got this one. <laughs> this is Drew. She is the hero. This is Walker, Shane, and Shauna. They are the hero's friends. This is Tabby and Lee. They ruined Halloween last year, and for that, they must pay. Man, I remember that. As a kid, it wasn't just a matter of imagination. It was earnest belief that you could pull off this crazy prank, or that some house was haunted. You could build a robot in your garage if you had the pieces. And isn't that the true magic of Halloween? Actually, no. Drew, honey, I'm sorry, but I don't think I want you going out tonight. They still haven't found those four people who disappeared the last couple of days. I don't be such a square, Mom. That wasn't even in this town. And what's the worst that could happen? Please come in. My husband would love to see your costumes. Don't be afraid. Gee, sure glad that wasn't us. Oh, I'm a dark and stormy night. In the book he was wearing black face paint too. I don't think that would have translated. The plan is to take Tabby and Lee trick-or-treating, and have Shane and Shana surprise them in monster costumes. But then these two guys in monster costumes show up and ruin everything! What even?! The Pumpkinheads take them to a suburb they've never seen before. One they have all to themselves, with houses overflowing with candy. Seems pretty sweet. Except... That's not scary! I can do that, look! Okay, maybe not. I think this is meant to be ominous, but Halloween was not a big thing in Australia when I was growing up. People turning into pumpkins would have really livened things up for me in October. Soon, Drew and the crew have hit the whole neighborhood. Bags are overflowing, and their dentists feel that annual chill up their spines, which can only mean one thing. Well, I'm done. See you next year, guys! And what a pleasant evening they had. Now it's empty! They just spilled onto the road? That's not how it happened in the book. Well, I guess it's a good thing I got that spare, then. Really? I don't think these things are human. Really, Drew? That's clearly just a guy in a costume. That's clearly just a headless guy in a costume. That's clearly just a headless ventriloquist in a costume. You're freaking out over nothing. But fear not, sports fans, because those headless ventriloquists just happen to be Shane and Shana. Don't worry, there's a very simple explanation for all of this. Shane? Well, there are advantages to being an alien. Being an alien. Being an alien. Obviously. Alright. Twist ending. That's what Goosebumps does. I'll take it. What was all that stuff about people going missing, though? That's a pretty dark detail to just throw in there for a kid's show. We fucking hate those guys! Oh well. Another year, another repressed childhood memory. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, or check me out on Patreon so I have a reason to do this again next year. Stay positive and happy Halloween!